Hello, hello! Welcome back! So this is a quick unboxing. This is a little thing I'll show you. It did come from Spain itself. It didn't come from China or anywhere else. But it's basically a new wall box for my electric vehicle. But it is a kind of a special wall box. You know, all nicely packaged, nice, oh yeah baby, I see it, oh look at that beautiful connector, wow, beautiful connector, look at that, yes, oh yes, oh yes, we have two current sensing current sensing transformers here, beautiful stuff, nice, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's throw the box aside, yes, sorry Wanda, don't be afraid Wanda, there's Wanda the dog, dog Wanda, don't be afraid, I was just throwing the box around Wanda, Let's continue with this piece of beauty. As you can see, this is where we play the pokers on Sundays. So it's mostly my downstairs kitchen and stuff. Nice. This is it's a seven and a half meter long cable. Beautiful stuff. Oh yeah. Here it is. This is what I was waiting for. This is a brand new wall box. It's, it's kind of a, a DIY case on a Spanish forum, but this is a very special box. You know why? Because I can set it from 6 amps charging all the way up to 32 amps. And charging power so that's basically 1200 watts all the way up all the way up to 7000 watts and with the help of this transformers I can automatically limit the charging current according to what my inverters are putting out. So I can limit this, I can limit the charge to let's say 20 amps. No, I'll I could limit the charge to 10 amps and that would be 2300 watts out of the charger. And then I can say uh, the maximum charge of the house if the the load goes over 4000 watts, which is about what, 18, 19 amps. This automatically will lower the charging current from 10 amps to 9 amps, 8 amps, all the way down to 6 amps. So it's a beautiful piece of kit, guys. I'm very happy with this, very happy. Very nice, very nice. Well, that's it. Let me show you. Yesterday, I got the, I got a, I got a record day for January or for so far this year. Let's see if this focuses. All right charging the car and hitting water right now so batteries are a little bit of discharging so far we had may have made 5.2 kilowatt hours today and this is the beautiful stuff here day calendar see yesterday 
we made 16,3 kilowatt hours and this was on the only on the midnight and the pip made 9 kilowatt hours yesterday so yesterday was a beautiful solar day 25 kilowatt hours and I used it all charging the electric car and using charging the batteries and doing everything guys but anyways this will be a pretty nice piece of kit this new wall box because I can automatically limit the charging amperage again I can set the house to 20 amps that's the most that a house can can draw and I can set the charger up to 10 amps so as soon as I have a big load going on the house that uh, gets close to those 20 amps or charging though or using those 10 amps between what the discharging use is using right now and the maximum load I can this wall box will automatically lower the amperage from the we will automatically lower the amperage that the car is charging so you can even set it all the way up to 20 that would be a little too much for me but I can do 15 amps and as soon as I have a big demand in the house microwave oven goes on water heater anything that uses lots of power it will automatically cut down the the draw from charging the car it will start 15 amps 14 amps 13 amps and it will limit all the way down to 6 amps and then anyways guys I'm pretty happy now I'm just waiting for a for a for a converter cable it should be coming this week that has a mannequin and because here the chargers in the street they use the German style plugs and this is the Asian American plug that I have in the Kia so anyways I'll I'll be able to use the the public chargers with that converter and finally I can do maybe some long range trips with the Kia Soul EV. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope this was not too boring.